I know there's been a real focus on developing Land Rover's in-car technologies, and that really is apparent here in the Villar. My first impressions are that many of the traditional hard button functions have disappeared, things like the terrain response and climate controls. I suspect they're contained within the touchscreens of this beautiful minimalist facade. As part of Land Rover's in-control technologies, the new Touch Pro Duo has all the functionality of the Touch Pro, but there are some really interesting new features. Push the start button and, oh, there we go, it pops up to greet you. I really like the two clear dual screens. I can simultaneously view and interact with multiple features at the same time. It seems very intuitive. Through a few simple commands, I've reconfigured the screens. The lower screen can be used to dial a contact without losing the navigation up here on the upper screen. It really allows me to multitask safely and with ease. The upper screen is where the majority of the main features are controlled from. Navigation, media, phone, swipe across. I get all those extra features like cameras, parking, system settings, the customizable homepage, and all of the extra features and apps. It really is the heart and soul of Touch Pro Duo. Those terrain response settings are laid out down here on the lower screen as touch functions. You can see moving across there, what used to be a rotary dial is now nicely laid out on the display screen. And things like the climate seats and the massage options are all housed down here on the lower screen. It's so simple to use, very intuitive, and immediately uh, easily to hand. I really like these rotary dynamic dials. They're multifunctional, depending on the main feature selected, and they also work independently. They're very intuitive and tactile. I like the way the system will remember and allow simple switching on and off of the seat with the last used temperature and positional settings. It's always annoying when someone else has driven your car and it's all out of whack. The system remembers everything. Another thing I really like on the Touch Pro Duo is the ability to alter the configurable dynamics. Down here, as you can see, I am in dynamic mode, which allows me to push the little helmet over there. And up here, as you can see, I can now alter my preferences for engine, gear shifting, steering, suspension. I mean, it's all right there. What used to be very complicated is now incredibly simple. What I think is really useful is also being able to move these displays around. I can now place that information right in front of me on the interactive driver display using the capacitive steering wheel buttons. And equally, I can configure the head-up display with my preferred information right through these buttons. So convenient. Despite the richness of capabilities in the system, features like that all just reduce my interaction and therefore my distraction when driving. This is neat too. Widget features found on the lower screen can control a subset of the media and phone functions commonly used on the upper screen. I love it. It's very intuitive, easy to use, and I can personalize it to suit my preferred layout and priorities. Okay then, I'm keen to let loose on the open road to see how the Velar performs and to explore some of these features on the go. Let's get driving.